Who should care who sits on a behind the scenes statehouse committee? Well, it depends on who you ask. Earlier this week, we broke down what's behind House Bill 68, which wants to eliminate the Joint Legislative Oversight Committee, or JLOC, and put the Office of Performance Evaluation under the Legislative Council. The OPE is, in short, a nonpartisan independent office of the legislature that evaluates whether state government programs and agencies are operating efficiently and cost effectively and are achieving the intended results. Well, the bill's sponsor, Representative Megan Blanksma, argued this bill makes the oversight of OPE more efficient. We're moving it from an appointed, unelected, not representative of the body, board, or council, committee, what did I, I'm losing it, committee, <laughs> and then we're moving it to legislative council, which is elected by the body and is representative of um, the legislature. So this streamlines the process. We're getting rid of a middleman. So cool, streamlining government, sounds great, right? Except House Minority Leader Alana Rebell, who's also co-chair of that Joint Legislative Oversight Committee, argues it would be fixing something that isn't broken and take away some much-needed nonpartisan oversight. I think we would really lose a lot of that credibility by moving it from a neutral system to a partisan system. I do not think it's appropriate um, to have the dominant party completely controlling the oversight of its own policies. But her argument wasn't enough. After all, House Bill 68 passed the House today 57-13 right along party lines. The bill is now headed to the Senate.